Hello and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. Today we're going to take a look at some of the built-in templates in Premiere Pro. We'll take a look at how to download them, how to access them in Premiere Pro, and also how to save templates that you create so you can use them again as well. Now these templates are all title stills. So the way that we access them is to go up to Title, New Title, and then Based on Template. Now these templates are available to all users of Premiere Pro. These aren't an add-on that you have to pay extra for, but they're not embedded in Premiere Pro when you download it, either from the Creative Cloud or if you're just downloading it from the installation disks. So you do have to navigate to the download link, and if you don't have these templates already in Premiere Pro, it will give you a link at the very bottom saying, you do not have these templates, click here to download. And what that does is it takes you to this page right here. You can also just Google CS6 functional content, and this page will be one of the first that comes up. However, once you're here, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows, you can download those templates and install them so they show up in Premiere Pro, just like so. So let's check out a few of these templates. So these templates are all title stills, and they have text objects that can all be edited and changed. In addition to those text objects, we also have backgrounds that are made from textures and colors and different arrays. These backgrounds are also able to be edited. And we can just go through. These HD titles are marked HD because of their resolution. They are full HD resolution. And you can see we just have some variations on this theme. And we've got lots of different ones. All of these different triangles twirl down to show a whole different set. Let's check out some of these. So you have some here that are great for children specific videos and then graduation, etc., etc. And we also have lower thirds and that's exactly what you would think. It's a title that takes up the lower third of the screen in all kinds of different shapes, colors, and textures. We have some mats, the matte letterbox. If you do need to add the letterbox bars at the top and bottom of the screen, if you're interested in adding the letterbox effect, we also have the pillar box if you need to convert your video into a 4.3 resolution instead of a 16 by 9. And both of these matte templates here, they don't necessarily convert a video, like it doesn't get squished in between these blocks. The letterbox bars will be placed on top of the video in a separate layer. But let's go down and keep checking out what we've got. We've got some sports ones. We've got the title centered. And travel, we have a few different selections there. I won't waste your time by going through all of these, but let's just go down and select maybe an upper third one and select that. So when we click OK, it opens our template in the standard title window here. You can see the name, title one, we can change that later. But what you'll notice is that the text tool is automatically selected when we hit OK. So if we wanted, we could just type anything in here and it would show up in the text that was already selected as part of the template. So let's go ahead and add our own text in here. Solid box presents and we can also change that font style if we'd like. Maybe go with something a little more sleek like that. And you can also change the font style and the size. All of these options are available just like in a regular title slide. So I'm going to bump that down a little bit. Maybe so it takes up about half the screen. And now, when we get rid of the text tool and just get our regular selection tool, we can move this text just like normal. And we can also move the shape that shows up as part of the template as well. Chances are, if we're selecting a, an upper third template like this one, we'd probably just leave it where it is. However, you do have the ability to scale it. We can also make it taller. All of these options are available just like in a regular title slide. So once you're happy with your template, you can either just close and then you're able to drag it down and place it in your video, or you're able to save it by clicking right here on templates. And the first group that we actually skipped before, user templates, gives us the option to twirl down this triangle and we want to import current title as a template. Before we do that, import file as template. Don't get confused by that. That will actually ask you to bring in an outside file that will be used as a template. So we want to import the current title as a template and then we can give it a name. Solidbox presents. Click OK. And Solidbox Presents shows right up in our user templates, so we can use it infinitely from here on out. So we'll click OK, and close this, and then we can drag that template in just like before. So the hard thing about templates is just locating them and making sure that they're native to Premiere Pro. 
but once you accomplish that, they're pretty easy. You can select from any number of different templates, and you have a pretty good amount of adjustability within each aspect of that template. So thanks for watching this week's Productivity Enhancer. Until next time.